Bond. James Bond. What's up, YouTube? Dimlex here today, bringing you guys my top five actors for James Bond. Uh, this is something a list I've been looking forward to. You know, Daniel Craig, he's getting older. He probably only has two more films under his belt, so I decided to make a list of top five actors I like to see play James Bond. They're all pretty well known actors, so I don't have any unknowns on my list. I mean, it's kind of hard to figure out what who's an unknown actor from because they're unknown, right? So there's that. And for a bonus, I would like Christopher Nolan to direct this next. Uh, James Bond reboot for the first one anyway with a new actor. I think that'd be pretty cool, but what do you guys think? Anyways, sit back and relax. Let's get started. Starting with number five is Clive Owen. Now he's well known for his role in Sin City and various other films. I definitely think he could pull James Bond, but his age is probably holding him back. He's like he's 50 now, but I feel like he can play off that. He definitely has that Sean Connery feel to him. And he's got that he's suave, he's got that suave, he's tall. You know, I feel like he can pull off that British accent very well as James Bond, but I don't know. I feel like he can pull it off great. I mean, he probably would only be able to do like two or three films at the most in a scene for his age, and he probably can't keep having that big physical physique all the time without throughout those movies, but that's my pick for number five as Clive Owen for James Bond. Number four is John Hamm from, well known from Mad Men. He's definitely probably, be, if he was cast as James Bond, he'd probably be the most built and the most and the tallest James Bond, I'm not sure how, I think he's the tallest out of the actors I pick, but he's definitely a big guy, uh, playing him as James Bond, definitely can see it, you know, he looks like he got the swath, charisma, all that type of thing, probably can pull out that British accent very well, uh, I can definitely see John Hamm kicking some butt, taking some names, and taking some ladies to bed, to be honest with you, uh, I, I would really like to see him as James Bond, I know a lot of other people do as well. I mean, he's also been recommended to play like Luthor. He's been, yeah. You know, I feel like he, he he's got he's got a shot. He needs some film that really boosts him up into that higher level style. This guy really thinks he's got a lot of talent behind him. So there's John Hamm for number four. As for number three, Idris Elba. Yes, you know, black James Bond. I wouldn't mind it. Some people would be like, uh, I like my James Bond white, which is okay. You know, I understand. You know, people don't like change that much. It's kind of weird changing race, kind of like with a uh, giant storm and the Human Torch, but. A lot of people are actually interested in Idris Elba playing James Bond. Because I think there's a rumor that Sony was interested in Idris Elba playing James Bond. A black James Bond would not be bad. The color of James Bond's skin does not match, uh, does not define his character. So, I mean, if they did like an Asian James Bond, I don't know how that works. Because usually you don't see a lot of Asian guys named James. In my opinion, I don't know any Asian dude that's named James. So, don't hate on me. But Idris Elba, I can definitely see, definitely has that gravitas. He definitely has that power, that presence. It's like, oh my gosh, it's serious. Elba, you know, he's definitely, a, well, he has world-class talent. I mean, he's he's in Thor, but he's playing Heimdall. It's not really a big leading role. A lot of people also want to play a Jon Stewart in Green Lantern. Don't know if he'll be, he'll ever he'll actually do it. I don't know if they're going to go with Jon Stewart in the DC Universe, but if not, I would definitely see Idris Elba playing James Bond. It'd definitely be a different take on the character, a whole new look on the character as well. Uh, for number two is Henry Cavill, yes, the Man of Steel himself, who was actually up for the role in Casino Royale, but they thought he was too young, so they went with Daniel Craig. Understandable, you know, still Henry Cavill went on to be Superman. He, of course, he's still interested in playing James Bond, but it'd be kind of weird seeing him as Superman and James Bond, two iconic characters. I mean, that's a lot of money for him, not gonna lie. But I, I, would I like to see Henry Cavill as James Bond? Of course, I think he could pull it off. I think the man from Uncle is definitely gonna prove that, but... We'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. I don't know if he'll, he'll actually be able to play as James Bond, seeing that he is playing another iconic character. So, anything's possible, but I, I, I keep a lookout for Henry Cavill because I think he is still he's going to be a big star uh, in the future, besides from being Superman, but I could be wrong about that. You never know. And as for number one is Michael Fassbender. I really think Michael Fassbender should be the next James Bond with Christopher Nolan at the helm. That'd be fantastic. I'm not going to lie. He definitely reminds me of that has that James Bond as he's tall, he's got that suave, he's, he can do action, and I'm telling you, this guy's all around, I mean, playing as Magneto and James Bond, that can work, that's a good blend, I, I would see that happening, that'd be fantastic if he was up for the world role for the next James Bond, I would love it, I would go to see it three times over, I, lo I love Michael Fassbender, one of the best act actors working today, you know, he's definitely got it all, soon, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have an Oscar on his mantle soon. I don't know about an Oscar just yet, but yeah, he's definitely working his way up there as an actor, and he's going to be playing, and that's the main character in Assassin's Creed, I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a big star on the rise, well, I think he's already a star now, what am I saying, I think he's A-list, I believe he's A-list, so 
yeah, a guy like him playing James Bond, no doubt, you'll, you'll make your money back tenfold. 